Today we're going to be performing our quarterly maintenance for our Haas SR100 sheet router. Although Haas recommends this maintenance being performed once a month, we don't use this particular machine as much as a typical industry business would. So we perform this maintenance on a quarterly basis. The first thing we need to do is use some compressed air and clean off the entire machine, including the router housing, the table, and anywhere else that dust may have settled. To get better access to perform our maintenance, I'm going to move the router housing to the near side of the table because our sheet router is pushed up against a wall. On this particular machine, we have a number of grease fittings that we need to take a look at first. Because some of these grease fittings may have some grease residue or sawdust, I'm gonna take a clean rag and wipe off each one first before adding more grease. If we move our machine along the Y axis, there are four grease fittings along those linear guides. And as we move this, we can see that grease fitting right next to that Y axis linear guide. There is also one located at the bottom of the Y axis linear guide. And on the other side of the router, we have two more Y axis linear guide grease fittings. If we move our machine along the X axis, we have a column on each side of the machine. And on each column, there is a grease fitting on each side located underneath. And on the other column, two more. If we look along the Z axis, we have more fittings that need to be greased. And this goes for the other side of the router. In total, we have four grease fittings for the Y axis linear guides. We have four grease fittings for the X axis columns. And we have five grease fittings for the Z axis. Four of those grease fittings are for the linear guides of the Z axis and the additional Z-axis grease fitting is the ball screw grease fitting, which is located between the Z-axis linear guide grease fittings. For this maintenance, we will be using Amsoil Synthetic High Viscosity Lithium Complex Grease. This particular product will provide our sheet router with additional protection that conventional greases won't give. Beyond the lubrication, this particular grease will also resist against oxidation, rust, and corrosion inside of the machine. This is an NLGI grade two lithium complex grease, which is the same NLGI grade and type that the manufacturer recommends. This particular product, however, provides additional protection. To apply grease, we will connect our grease gun to our fitting and we will give it two pumps. Once you've greased all the fittings, you can wipe off any excess grease that might have oozed out. Make sure when you are greasing that you do not over grease the fittings uh, because you could damage the machine. Next, we're going to inspect any areas where we could have metal on metal contact. So when our machine moves back and forth, we have a gear that fits into these teeth and there we have metal on metal contact. You want to check the teeth to make sure they're in good working order and there's none chipped or broken off. And to help clean and lubricate these different areas that we have the metal on metal, we're going to be using Amsoil's metal protector. Applying a small amount will help maintain lubrication and you can wipe off any overspray. To clean the tool holder, we need to remove our tool and apply a little bit of Amsoil's metal protector and then we're going to reinstall it in the router. Other moving parts that have collected dust, we can wipe those off. 
and apply a little bit of Amsoil's metal protector to ensure that it stays lubricated. The last step is to run our machine through the entire X, Y, and Z axis. And it doesn't hurt to run a program. Now on a daily or weekly basis you should be cleaning the machine with a soft rag using compressed air to blow off any dirt and debris and additionally just maintaining the tool holder and spindle.